we live in an age where we are blessed to have access to other expository preachers sermons you mentioned yourself you've listened to hundreds of uh, dr MacArthur's. we have access to commentaries going back hundreds of years as we pray for illumination what should we do if we come to a a unique and different conclusion on a text to anyone else in church history <laughs> well well to be as sarcastic like i was a moment ago um I remember reading in a very, very good book by uh, Don Carson, D.A. Carson, the uh, New Testament uh, exegete over here in America. And Don Carson said in his book, Exegetical Fallacies, something I've never forgotten. He was talking about a certain interpreter, and that interpreter had come up with a view of James 2 about dead faith. And this particular interpreter, who himself was a seminary professor and had taught hundreds and hundreds of young students about hermeneutics and New Testament, and he believed that he'd come up with an interpretation of James 2 that said something like this, dead faith must imply that it was once alive, right. because something can't be dead if it wasn't once alive. So I believe, this interpreter said, that James is talking about someone who once had living faith, and now that faith has died, and that means that that person will be in heaven because, this interpreter said, I believe in eternal security, I believe in the perseverance of the saints, and so therefore, just because his faith was dead at the moment of his death, he's still going to be in heaven because that faith was once alive. And I believe James 2 is a passage that teaches such a thing. And Don Carson said in his book, and I think wisely so, though a bit tongue-in-cheek, he said, now, this doesn't mean that that interpretation is wrong, but if in the history of the Christian church no one has ever interpreted that passage that way. It doesn't mean it's wrong. It just means that it's probably wrong. Right, right. Because yeah. if nobody else has ever interpreted that passage in that way, that just simply, because of the illumination of men's minds through the ages, no one's ever thought of that. No one's ever concluded that. It just simply cannot be true. Yeah, yeah. Really helpful. Thank you. Good.